Jesus. We glorify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord. And the praise is to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We place your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We celebrate you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, Lord. We bring all the glory to Every adoration, we ascribe the majesty to your name. What a mighty God you are. Blessed be your name, Jehovah. Thank you, faithful Father. We count it as an opportunity, Lord, to come into your presence with praise, with worship, to lift up your name. What a time, Lord. Thank you for the access into your presence. Hallowed be your name, Jehovah. Accept all our praises. Accept our worship. In Jesus' matchless name, we worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you as you open up your word unto us and open us up unto your word. We ask, Lord, this morning, that by the instrumentality of your word and of your spirit, you will affect our lives positively. Amen. Effect transformation. Work changes in us. And bring us to the place of authority and influence. That by you, we may run through the troops of opposition. And leap over the walls of limitations. Come into the place of victory. That your name may be glorified in our lives. In Jesus, matchless name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, be seated. Let's quickly get into God's word. And get rolling. As text this morning is from Psalms chapter 7 verse 9. Psalms chapter 7 verse 9 from the Passion Translation of the Bible. It says, once and for all, end the evil tactics of the wicked. Reward and prosper the cause of the righteous. For you are the righteous God, the soul searcher, who looks deep into every heart to examine the thoughts and motives. We are dealing with stopping the wicked. That's our theme this month. Now my instructions are simply to lead us to pray against the activities of the wicked in our lives. Because today it's our prophetic prayer service. But before we get into the fray, I want to briefly get us to understand who the wicked are. And how we can stop them from going, gaining ground against our lives. Hallelujah. So let's quickly have some bit of understanding. So that when we pray, we'll pray with faith in our hearts. The wicked. Now the word wicked in the Hebrew is Russia. Russia. It means wrong. It means bad. It means unrighteous. It means sinful. Godless. It means vicious. Lawless. And apostate. That's what the word Russia means. A wicked person is therefore. One who has rejected God. One who is opposed to God. And one who relishes doing evil, contrary to the pleasure of God. One who simply lives their lives to upset God. Ah, the wicked are opposed to God. Therefore, God is opposed to them. This is why he is angry. Every day with the wicked. Psalms chapter 7 verse 11. Russia, beloved, connotes turbulence. It connotes restlessness. It connotes what is disjointed and poorly regulated. Now, hear me. That describes the world in which the wicked leave and these are the people who perpetually cause agitation against others the wicked are guilty 
or violating the rights, even the social rights of others, through oppression, greed, exploitation, murder, dishonesty in business, and perverting of justice. Simply, the wicked hate the Lord and are hostile towards God and his people. Listen to me, child of God. The wicked live in sin and hey, they are happy to so live in sin. They do not see God but challenge God in every possible situation. The wicked love violence. They afflict the righteous, never ever repay their debts and listeners to trap the righteous. Please know that though it is commonly believed that church fellowship is where the righteous gather, huh, understand, there are many wicked people who go to church. Did you hear what I just said? There are many wicked people who go to church. And many of them are even committed church members. Just as Satan, their master, goes to church, so do many wicked people attend local assemblies all over the globe. How can we stop these people stopping the wicked? Briefly, for lack of time, there are several ways, but let me share with you two of them. Two ways by which you can stop the wicked in prayer. Number one, by calling upon God to frustrate the wicked. This is the popular way. Many of us, when confronted with the wickedness of the wicked, find ourselves embroiled and the turbulence generated by the wicked will simply cry out to God. We will simply cry out to God. Now, the word cry out in Hebrew means kava. And it means to shout out aloud for help. This is why in such prayers you are Advice to be vigorous and vociferous. You have to. When you are under the affliction of the wicked, you come under pressure from the wicked. You are going through the turbulence that had been generated against you by the wicked child of God. That is not a time to pray, you know, those type of prayers that could make you fall asleep. No, that is the time to lift up your voice, cry out aloud to God for help. Hear me? In his faithfulness, in his mercy, God always will arise and come to your aid and stop the wicked dead in their tracks. This was the experience of David on the day he was running away from his son Absalom. Who had organized a coup d'etat and was headed straight for his father in the presidential palace in Jerusalem. As he was running for his dear life, hey, King David was told that his friend and chief advisor, Ahitophel, <laughs> was in the company of Absalom. Upon hearing this, David knew that should Ahitophel be allowed to stand on thwarted in his counsel to Absalom, his escape that night will be frustrated. Child of God, David knew what to do. Straight away, he lifted up his voice and he covered. He cried out to God. What was it? He cried out. In 2 Samuel chapter 15 verse 31. He says, Oh Lord, I pray thee. Turn the cancer of Ahitophel into foolishness. Listen to me. How 
was it that Ahi Jophet had become a wicked man? We are talking about stopping the wicked. Ahi Jophet, the chief counselor to the king, on this occasion, is treated as the wicked. He was part of the covenant people of God. He was a Jew. How can a believer also become wicked? Listen to me, child of God. And listen to me clearly. <laughs> In 2 Samuel, chapter 17, 1 to 4. Ahitophel gave a strategic counsel to Absalom. You know, if Ahitophel, if, if Absalom had taken that counsel that night, David would have been in trouble. But you know something? God had moved on the cry of King David, his son. And rather than accept the counsel of Ahitophel, Absalom asked for a second opinion. And from who? From Hushite, the Archite. Who was David's mole in the camp of Absalom? You see how God moved in answer to David's cry? And Hushite took the opportunity and thwarted the counsel of Ahitophel. Listen to me. In 2 Samuel chapter 17, verse 14b, the Bible says, For the Lord had appointed to defeat the good counsel of Ahitophel to the intent that the Lord might bring evil upon Absalom. And in verse 23 of 2 Samuel chapter 17, this is what the Bible says. And when Ahitophel saw that his counsel was not followed, he saddled his ass and arose and got him to his house. To his city and put his household in order and hanged himself and died and was buried in the sepulchre of his fathers. Listen to me, child of God. Was Ahitophel a wicked man? Yes. How? Let me quickly put this down to help you have understanding. Whenever as children of God we cross the line, listen to me carefully. And begin to play God. Hey! By reason of another person's action against us. Hear me, child of God. We make ourselves wicked. How? We are directly challenging God. Anyone who challenges God is a wicked person. Listen to me. David violated Bathsheba. You remember the story? Yeah. Yeah. He violated Bathsheba. And in doing so, he mortally offended Ahitophel. No argument. How was Ahitophel connected with Bathsheba? In 2 Samuel chapter 11, eh, we were told that David was at home loafing. And anyone who loafs around always finds themselves in trouble. Indeed, David fell into trouble. When he looked through his balcony and saw a beautiful lady having a bath in the open, my God, his reckless eyeballs found what he was looking for. And then he asked the question. Look at it. In verse 3 of 2 Samuel chapter, chapter 11, the Bible says, And David said, and inquired after the woman, and one said, It's not this, but she back the daughter of Eliam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite. Child of God, who is Eliam? Eliam was the son of Ahitophel. So Bathsheba was the granddaughter of Ahitophel. Now when David committed that atrocity against her and her husband and destroyed her marriage, you have a child of God, Ahitophel never forgave his friend. He never forgave his friend. He held on to it and found an opportunity. And when this opportunity came, after a while, he struck. What was he doing? He has forgotten what scripture says. 
in Deuteronomy chapter 32, 35b, where it says, to me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Hear me, child of God, you cannot step into God's shoes and do the things only God can do. Anybody who challenges God like that becomes a wicked person. Do you hear that? Hey, only God has a right to take vengeance and not any man. Hear me, child of God. David's offense was true, but Ahitophel became a wicked man as he sought vengeance. Hear me. Number two, God stopped the wicked man, Ahitophel. Number two, quickly because my time is going on far. Standing in your authority as a believer in the name of the Lord. That's how you stop the wicked. That's the second way. You want to stop the wicked? Child of God, stand in your authority. Stand in your authority, your God-given authority as a believer in the name of the Lord. And it will be so quickly. I'll give you two examples and I close this. Hear me. When we make decrees, when we make declarations, standing in our authority as believers, listen, when the wicked rise up against us, we can't stop them. Our first example is that of Moses against Korah. Moses was the leader put there by God over the people of God. Korah, Dathan, and Abraham. Now, Korah was a Levite. Dathan and Abraham were Reubenites. They took serious exception to the fact that Moses had appointed his brother and his household perpetually to be priests unto God. They took offense of that. And they created and generated tremendous hassle against Moses for doing that. Moses tried to dialogue with them. They would not listen. What did he do? He took his stand. Because once they began to play God in the camp to create confusion against God's pattern, Moses knew these are wicked people. You see how the believers can become wicked people? Hear me, child of God. In Numbers chapter 16, 28 to 35, this is what he says. And Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that the Lord hath sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of my own mind. If these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord hath not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up, with all that appertaineth unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking all these words, that the ground clave asunder that was, an, was under them, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their houses, and all the men that appertain unto Korah, and all their goods, they and all their part that appertain to them, went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. And all Israel that were around about them fled at the cry of them. For they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. And there came out a fire from the Lord, and consumed the 250 men that offered incense. Child of God, the wicked were stopped. I pray for you that the wicked in your life, as you rise up in your authority, shall be stopped in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Finally, in Acts chapter 13, verses 6 to 11, we see the story of how Apostle Paul stood up upon his authority and stopped wicked Simon the sorcerer. This is what it says. And when they had gone through the isle of Topaphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar Jesus, which was with a deputy of the country, Sergius Polos, a prudent man, who called for Barnabas and Saul, and desired to hear the word of God. But Elimas the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, we stood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, who is also called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him and said, Oh, full of all subtlety and all mischief, 
Thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. Result immediately. There fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking sun to lead him by the hand. The wicked sorcerer was stopped. May the Lord hear your command. May the Lord hear your decree. May the Lord hear your declaration. As you stand upon your authority and decree the judgment of God against every wicked man, every wicked woman who is trying to perfect their wickedness over your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I need you to rise up. It's time for us to pray. Let us pray. My yo dada, I need you to lift up your voice. I need to pray to God. My yo de debo shalaba. Come on, if you don't have to pray, the Holy Ghost, lift up your voice and begin to pray. And the Holy Ghost. Balia kasol telia lo bos kabaya. It's time, child of God. Ye te keri bram to lo bos. Mana na ke galabra du shelia to lo bos. E pa kasuri mana ni ala teya. Yes, in Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. Say with me, Father, Father arise, to my arise to my deliverance from the hand of the wicked and frustrate their evil tactics in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's a good prayer point to pray. You are lifting up your voice, you're crying out to the Lord to stop the wicked. Come on, child of God, cover, cover. Kava, right now. Ye lebo shalabri ante lebo. Neke balaga zaba talabra kadaba. Barepe laga zaba talabra kadaba. Baro sete ni maliala toya. Aipaya dalaba. Arise to my deliverance, Lord, from the hand of the wicked and frustrate their evil tactics in my life, against my life, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ya mo shalabri ante lebo. Neke balaga toya la brogodoste. In Jesus. Matchless name we pray. Say with me, Father, break the arm of the wicked and every evil man seeking my hurt in the name of the Lord Jesus. Child of God, can you pray this prayer? My head de Jove Father, break the arm of the wicked and every evil man seeking my hurt in the name of the Lord Jesus. Eka mama bo sheteri andalaba Eri palaga zaba yo telegriano Ma jo de kriya la taya Se balose Eri palute Manda kito lea Ejebe yana kite Ma aga zaraba Let your hands be broken E palagriya la toya In Jesus Matchless name we pray Amen So with me father Cause the wicked Walk into unto me to fall by his wicked schemes and suffer disgrace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I can't hear you pray, child of God. Let me feed you in your home, wherever you are, that you are praying. Come on, in spirit of spirit. La Bita can to Kabaya. Lift up your voice, spread and pray. Hear the grand to the boss, Kabaya. Mananagi Galabragadabosha. Fakira la doina bayata. Let the Lord cause us. The wicked walking on do you to fall by his wicked schemes and suffer his grace in the name of the Lord Jesus. Repala Gazabayata. E pon sagiala to Shabregadas. E man so kaliala bo Shabriata. In Jesus, much less name we pray. Say with me, Father, Father take, me out take me out of every trouble, of every trouble and, cause and cause the wicked to take my place therein. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, lift up your voice, pray that prayer, child of God. Let there be a replacement, sir. Babo, Nepala, Gazon, Teshe, a divine replacement. Let the Lord take you out of trouble, sir, and replace you by Lake Shentelia with the wicked therein. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Sabelu Tehi Malatoya, Shebriana Kaskabayan Talaba. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray.
Say with me, Father, Father overthrow, overthrow the wicked and their wickedness targeted at me. Cause them to face their wretchedness in life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cannot hear prayer going on. Yelebo Shabayadaga, Mande de Ketekeli Telebro Tolobo, Nepagazo de Abalatomi Kabayante, Repalaga Sabatala Bragada. Let the Lord overthrow the wicked and their wickedness together at you. Let him cause them to face their wretchedness in life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mande Kaboyo Shatalaba, and Nepalaga Zamanana Kribo Mutale Antilibo, Ekeribro Tolobo Boskaba. In Jesus, matchless name we pray. Say with me, Father, cause the wickedness of the wicked to be upon them and make them totally helpless and the troubles in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Let the wickedness of the wicked be upon them. I made the Kemoya Shantalaba and in their troubles let them become helpless. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Yatu Shalaba and the Keri Brown Tolobian Talaba, Rebara Gazaba Talabra as they beat helplessness into your soul, let them become helpless in their own troubles. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, my Father. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. Say with me, Father. Father. Reward, reward and prosper me, and prosper me. In, this in this life but cause the wickedness, the wickedness of the wicked against me to come to an end to to an in the name of the lord jesus christ child of god i give you time to pray this prayer let the lord cause you reward you and, and, and prosper you in this life let him cause the wickedness of the wicked against you to come to an end my de E palaga zabaya telele ya do se kembali ala boska ba re palaga zabaya teliana ye se telebrian to boska ba lekla ba tola ba kide ma ye geri balatoya ayende julebi ala to ma sabriana ti terebos e jabo ela paya kasus kelian talaba la reward and prosper your people in the name of the lord jesus God, the wickedness of the wicked against their life to come to an end in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Father. We give you praise, we give you glory. In Jesus, much less name we pray. Tell God, whatever you are, just lift up your hands. I pray for you that every activity of the wicked in your life it comes to an end right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Christ. Every token of unrighteousness. That we can have lifted up against you. I command it collapse right now. Let it lose its power right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From this altar I project the power of God. And the blood of Jesus. Into your situations. That have been generated by the wicked against you. I command them paralyzed right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every wicked voice. Every wicked tongue that have risen up in judgment against you. I command to name right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The power of witchcraft and with the wicked have tormented your life. I command it brought to an end right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you my Father. Give you praise, give you glory. In Jesus matchless name we pray. Amen. Now, I want you to make these declarations with me. Lift up your right hand. Place it upon your head. Say with me. Every step, Every step taken, by the wicked, taken by the wicked to profit from, to profit from their, wickedness their wickedness in my life shall fail yeah. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Wicked balances and bags of deceitful ways established against my life shall fail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Far from a false matter shall I be kept and I shall not suffer along with the wicked in this life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My feet shall the Lord keep. 
But he will keep the wicked silent in darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I shall be justified by the Lord. And shall be received of the Lord according to my righteousness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The wicked shall stand frustrated. Trying to afflict my life. But I will stay close with the righteousness of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The wicked that hate me shall be clothed with shame and their dwelling place shall come to naught. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we celebrate you. We give you praise. You said, whatsoever you say that I hear in my ears, I shall do. Let the declarations we have made come to become our realities. In Jesus, much less name, we pray. Come on quickly, let me place in your heart the prophetic word for the week. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory be to God. Psalms 12 verse 5 is our prophetic word for the week. It says, but the Lord says, now I will arise, I will defend the poor, those who were plundered, the oppressed and the needy, who groan for help. I will arise to rescue and protect them. The Passion Translation of the Bible. Child of God, are you one of the poor in spirit? Are you one of those being plundered by the wicked? Are you a victim of the oppression of the wicked? Have you been groaning for her? If you are, I've got good news for you this morning. God says, he'll arise on your behalf now. He says, he'll defend you now. He says, he'll rescue you now. He says, he'll protect you now. Beloved, your plunderers, oppressors, afflictors, tormentors, and troublers are in for the wrath of God. This is why I welcome you to our week of divine rescue. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, every activity of the wicked in your life Amen. is hereby brought to an end this week. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every action of the week to plunder your life and leave you in agony shall backfire in their faces this week. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All evil schemes of the wicked to make you a victim of the oppression shall collapse this week. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the burdens of wickedness making you groan for hell shall suffer destruction this week. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord shall arise on your behalf and break the yoke of the wicked from off your life this week in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord shall defend you against every evil scheme of the wicked this week in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord shall rescue and protect you from any further affliction by the wicked this week. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you our Father. Bring to pass our decrees. Let your name be glorified. That everyone will experience divine rescue this week. In Jesus matchless name we decree. The hand of the Lord is upon you. His goodness is upon you. His loving kindness is upon you. His faithfulness is upon you. I bless you. With divine enablement. To cause you to walk as the head and never as the tail. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Child of God, yours is divine. And every manipulation from the pit of hell, I command overturn right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You are the beloved of the Father. Let his glory defend you daily. And cause you to experience his goodness. 
and every front. Child of God, peace is your portion forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's share God's grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Say after me, I take my place, take my place. In, my in my flourishing room. There I abide, there I abide. in intimate worship of the Lord. Totally addicted to his word, fervently praying, and manifesting as a song. I go forth to change my world. You are blessed. Have a great Sunday.